What's up guys? <clears throat> it's your boy Grister Ways. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys the normal setup for a fire PvP or um you can get to any rank with this setup. I mean, depending on how good you are and your luck in first or second. This should be a pretty good setup for whatever you use. And I'm gonna tell you now this is the most updated and best setup on the YouTube right now. I looked through every single one of them and I can I've learned from several people who fire PvP as well that this is the best thing you can possibly run. And I Although I haven't PvP'd yet, I can just tell you from experience, this is probably the best thing you can run. And with a good strategy, you can get any rank with it. So yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you whatever you can get and some alternatives to everything. But for now, this is the overall setup while missing like two items. Or not two items, but an item or so. I'm missing the Ignis Torch stat, but it's, so it's only uh, about, I believe, two damage and like 10 crit rating or something like that. So it should be 469, you know, 135 damage, but uh, yeah. With any like alternative, um, you can get whatever. So for now, I'm gonna tell you that I can that you can run the Croc hat, or you can also run. Let me find it. This hat. This hat is also a good like offensive thing and a decent trade off. But as a as a, like a balanced fire, I guess, to where I like to have a lot of resist. I personally prefer the Croc hat. But it's really up to you if you want to be more offensive. If you have rampage, and then for me, I go with the. Uh, Robes of Malister's ire and the or and or the bone smasher robe. It's really helpful and it's pretty much the best thing you can run. Um, but it's really dependent on what your accuracy and power pip is. But uh, yeah, I personally like the Malister robe more though, um, as it fits more and has like perfect everything. So yeah, boots. I really like the gold tree boots. Um, I run these all the time because they have a lot of resist and shit tons of damage. They almost have enough uh, damage to be the time one boots and only 25 uh, crit down. So these are really good boots. They carry choke as well, which is like a decent spell, I guess, if you're doing PV2s to have um, as one of your spots. And then you have the 29 fire damage, 12 resist. Yeah, just ever overall amazing boots. But uh, I mean, if you're really, again, if you're really offensive, you can go with these boots. But I prefer the drop ones for the power fit. But uh, yeah. I'll show them on screen, um, and yeah, that's about it. Pretty much all the boots, but it's it's a trade-off depending on if you want offensive or resist. Now this is another time where you uh, would just go with one or two things. Um, I personally like the Ignis Torch Staff, but this is a better Torch Staff. This is what you're gonna be want to be using um, for just about everything. Uh, this is pretty much the best thing you can run um, wand-wise, but if you Want to run the other ones? Tell me about them, and I'll tell you if they're worth the, the use or not. Then we can go to Athames. This is just like uncontested best Athame you can possibly get. You don't want to suck it on any amount of health. That's over a hundred. Um, two fire pierce jewels, which you can get from Thieves Den and Mirage, uh, the Forte Thieves. Thieves, and uh, I would suck it fire accuracy or whatever you're missing more of. Whatever you need more of doesn't really matter, but I prefer fire accuracy for what I'm using right now. Then for amulets, you can run the Morgan Stark Charm or the Shane Von Shane. I forget what it's called, but you can get a drop. It's a fire one that gives you 4% pierce, or yeah, 4% pierce, 4% resist, and only crit. So, you, but you don't really need block anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's pretty much the two best amulets you could possibly use. Um, if you're lucky enough to have the Hades one that gets dropped, that's also fine. You're just missing out on the blade. Um, ring. You're always going to want to use a dual, dual Daredevil ring, doesn't matter, whatever. Do enough tournaments to get this. This is the most useful ring in the game, in my opinion. Um, everybody universally uses this for PvP because of the Pierce and everything. An extra square socket. You're going to want to socket over 100 health on this. And also you're going to want to socket uh, Fire Pierce. Whatever you're good with a square incoming, um, whatever you want to do. But I do stun resist for everything whenever, whenever I get stun resist dropped. Um, for pets I use triple double, but you can use whatever you want. Quad damage is fine, but I only have a 10% um, resist socketed right now. Because I'm currently working on taking this to Ultra and getting the ward slot. Or ward available, available to get slotted, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah. But, uh, crazy, it's crazy to think about whenever you have a ward for anything um, at Ultra, you can, with these stats, get 71 resist to that certain school. So if you have a big weakness or you're not very good against a certain school, it's a good way to cover up your uh, weak spot. Fire Boon's also fine, but I definitely, definitely prefer to have a uh, sort of 
reduce closer, but uh, it's really up to you. Whatever you prefer. Um, you can socket whatever you feel would help the most. You can also socket a strength if you want as well. Like 65 strength because you can get a few extra resist and damage, but that's about it. Um, for mounts, I would use a fire gulcher or a uh, battle narwhal, wh whatever narwhal. If you have any like stat boosting, it might actually help. If you, accuracy, anything like that. But I don't have anything like that, so I just use whatever mount. Um, doesn't really matter. Deck setup, I would use an omen setup, but I'm not going to be showing my deck setup because I'm still working on it. But um, I would use an omen deck. It's personally my favorite because you can suck a triangle. Really good crit stats, gives you some health, gives you a pip. Everything you pretty much need, but you can also use the rat deck, and you can also use the dual stair double deck, or whatever, whatever it's called. Um, that's probably one of the best decks you can also use. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. And another thing I want to throw out there, you're going to need Rampage. Don't copy this, by the way, because this is still a work in progress, but you're going to need Rampage no matter what. Um, you're going to need Rampage no matter what, because... It helps a lot against shielding schools. Like if there's schools that are just paranoid of you, you can apply some pressure. Some some people might not have not try a triage or be able to pull it. So, in my personal opinion, it's probably the best overtime for fire in the game. So, I mean, I it's almost necessary to have. But if you want to use it, that's totally fine, and you can still get a decent rank or a veteran or something like that without it. But uh, yeah, it's really up to you. But, uh, yeah, there's no other, like, alternative to Rampage either. But, yeah, that's pretty much the stat loadout. Um, if you're not counting the miss of this, or the missing of this, I should have 135 damage and 56 resist. If you run the Bone Smasher Road, which I happen to have, and get the accuracy. I don't know how I'm going to get the accuracy. Maybe. Because I kind of want to have 135 damage, but it's, it's whatever. Um, 57 resist is pretty nice. You get 72 on a ward. So, yeah, everything's pretty much nice uh, with this, just missing accuracy for uh, the scimitar, what is it here, scimitar. You're going to almost always need this. If you don't have accuracy for your scimitar, you're going to fizzle it um, that one time, and that one time's going to fuck you over. I, don't, I just don't like that risk. So I make sure I have 100% accuracy, 100% power pit. I seem to work on my power pit. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, that's pretty much everything I run. If you have any questions for a person, per, for a personal set or whatever that you're working on for a fire, just ask in the comments. I have some people I can ask about um, what the best is to run. And yeah, uh, triple double reminder. This is the best set set up there. You can't do double double or anything like that because you can miss out on defy or six percent damage. It's gonna be really hard if you only have like a double double crit or something like that. Um, another reminder that crit block is not important and is not important whatsoever um as a fire anymore because you can't get any if you run the mouse there boots if you look here you get how much, how much block? you get literally 12 percent block so i've never thought it was worth it but um yeah, that's why i run these boots is because block isn't worth it anymore so until block gets buffed maybe it's pretty much useless but uh this should work for even through the summer update unless they have a huge overhaul update on uh pvp and uh Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, if you want like an updated version after like 1.30 comes out or something like that, make sure you hit me up and I'll make a new version of this. Um, I'm happy to help anybody in the comments. Thank you all for watching and peace. Another reminder that if you guys want any other videos um, on my other characters, such as my Balance, Ice, uh, Magus Fire and Myth, who are both um, around the commander levels, set up for either of those or something like that. That's totally fine. I can make one of those. And uh, if you guys want me to uh, show you guys um, a deck setup for my fire, I'll also uh, consider doing that. As I'm still working on a deck setup because I don't have Rampage yet. You can't really make a deck setup if you don't have Rampage. So whenever I do get Rampage, I'll be able to make a proper deck setup. But um. Every so overall stats finale should be about 133 or 135 damage, 56 resist, 31 accuracy, 460 or no, 469 crit, 126 block, 35 pierce, 12 universal. Um, you should be able to get 10% or 15% stun resist, uh, resist if you get um, max stun resist uh, from jewels. And then you have this uh, about I think with the Ignis Torch Shaft you get almost 500. 
Am I wrong? Should get 110 more. Yeah. Um, should get 100% power pit. That's what I prefer. Or like in like the 90 area. I would like the 98, 99 area. Um, 6%, but you can get higher if you use like newer gear. But yeah, personally, that's my favorite loadout to use for fire PvP. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I appreciate the support. Make sure you like and subscribe, and comment if you have any questions.